history history of this location i'm assuming uh no just uh general uh history got it okay well because you're climatized so mm -hmm. history um hmm. Right. Uh, Doc Fulton's like, hey, the factory. Uh, the factory uh, originally was uh, Andy Warhol's uh, building slash movie yeah. place slash basically just generated a bunch of different art and shit. This place seems to be uh, along those lines. It's a huge building where starving art, um, artists can live very cheaply. You could essentially live here and pay in art if you want. They also have a place where you can get tattoos and stuff. Um, the This is where the real artists are, or some of the real artists. And then a uh, the small shitty fire trap theater. It pretty much looks, just looking at, uh, it's the kind of place where they read beatnik poetry of the worst type. And um, just looking at it, you can tell that just one more person smoking there it should burn down this whole fucking theater thing soon. Hmm. It looks like it's ready to go. It's it's like going and visiting the globe just before it caught fire, except that this is nowhere cool as cool as the globe. Do you know what the globe was, Chris? A globe theater? Yes. Well done. Do you know whose theater it was or who performed a lot of shit there? Significant shit. Wasn't Shakespeare? Well no. done, Chris. Well done. Yeah, it burned down. It's sad. Yes. So, there you go. Chris made his real life history role as well. <laughs> so, now that Chris has gotten a check, he'll get better in history somehow. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just want to poke around. See if anybody's yeah. doing like any good paintings or. Uh, you, you get into the factory and stuff, and they're happy to let you. Um, give me streetwise roles to convince the people in the factory you're not government stooges. No. You're government stooges. You get to see some of their stuff. You can tell that they probably have a lot of hidden shit here that's very cool and all, but and you get to see some stuff. And, oh, well done. Uh, yeah, they, they like him, but you're with a government stooge, so they keep dragging you aside and telling you, you're being set up, you should run, and shit like that. Um, doesn't really he's help. Not, he's not a government stooge, he's actually part of the lockpick gang. Uh, they try to make their fucking role to know what that is. No, they have not a clue. But they, they keep telling you, no, he's the man, you know, run. I'm the so, back alley butcher. Watch yourself. Oh, uh, guy goes. I would like a cut of lamb uh, that weighs about. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are not like criminals, really. They're they're artists, you know. Yeah, trying trying to push the boundaries. Yeah, yeah. Against uh, the man. Yeah. yeah, this is the kind of place that just being here is making both feel a little nervous because it's the kind of place where you can see the jack. Booted thugs, uh, i.e., police here kick in the door, arrest everybody, haul them off uh, for sedition, shit like that. So, so what happened to the real art that survived the bugs and the rending? You know, like the actual Andy Warhol stuff, and yeah, they 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 don't know. Uh, a lot of it just went up. Uh, people went crazy back then. That was. A long time ago, mm -hmm. uh, so generations ago, they're they're not sure. Many a lot of it's missing here and there. Collectors may have gotten hold of some, or there's always, of course, going out into the world and finding the arts and stuff like that. If you can go and find the art and bring it back here, we will preserve it and stuff. Or sell for a giant can of Campbell soup, either one. Yep. Of course, um, some of it got burned by various governments, human and non-human alike. Um, <laughs> yep, yep. They, yeah, I mean, they, besides that, that survived the um, the bug invasion. Right, yeah. right. Well, plus, uh, um, 
over in San Francisco, uh, you know, Morton's a famous collector of art. He's commissioned several pieces and stuff. I thought San Francisco was part of San Angeles. Uh, no, no, that's a that's a whole different city. That's that's run by okay. non-humans. Okay. That's a lot of miles away. That's like a few days by fast ocean liner away, or weeks on the western road. But whatever you do, stay off the western road. It's full of bandits and shit. Okay. Mm -hmm. They offered uh, to sell you paintings of yourself that they will attempt to make. Not in need of one right at this moment. Thank you, though. They look disappointed. What about daffodils? Would you like? <laughs> they they go. How about a painting of flowers? And it's like a painted vase, and then they fucking stapled a bunch of dead dead and dying flowers to it. Eh? Interesting interpretation of postmodernism. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a card for Pete. There you go. So, um. No problem. He's talking art stuff, and people are kind of uh, avoiding you like a narc, Chris. Well, if he's talking to people, I'll wander away from him so he can maybe get some information. I was just curious to come through here to see if there was any, like, exceptional paintings. Well, uh, there's, there's some very good stuff, but uh, uh, they don't have anything that's uh, really... What? No, I was going to say anything really against the government because they don't want you to see it stuff. No, I'm just looking for things that look more real. I see what you mean. Yeah, you don't find any of that sort of thing in here. Okay. All right. I just leave this place for another place. The library, I believe. Sure um, Doc, did you? I don't know. Did you get? Walking? Yes, yes. The yeah. notes. I gave some notes to Ollie. Did she pass anything on to you? Yeah, but I'll be honest. I don't remember. That's right. Because part of the notes was a timeline. And with some comments about some of the time being compressed when the bug yes. invasion occurred, yes, I do remember generation that. passed, but according to the timeline, only 10 years passed. A poorly dressed guy suddenly steps in front of you and holds out his hand. Give me a silver piece or I'll destroy the sun, he says. I want to see you do it because the sun yeah, sucks. Yeah, do it. Come on. <laughs> He's, he goes, give me a silver piece and I will, I will destroy the sun. Give me a silver piece, I'll destroy you. Give me an intimidate roll, Chris. <laughs> rawr, rawr. <laughs> yeah. Yes? He yeah. runs away screaming like a little girl. I chase him. Oh. All right, so uh, let me just do his sprinting real quick. Uh, close. Chris, give me your sprinting roll to initiate combat. I made my sprint. Here comes combat. <laughs> Round one. <laughs> He's screaming away. And uh, villains are first, heroes are second. He tries running further away. He staggers away from you. He is now one simple action ahead of you, screaming his head off. No! I a, simple actual, I simple action up to him and uh -huh. punch him in the face. Uh, back of the head, we'll have to do. That that's fine. Oh, three. <laughs> No problem. Uh, he, this makes him scream louder. Next round, <laughs> villains are first, heroes are second. Maneuver, including running and stuff, is approved. He attempts to run. 
He missed it by one again. Pete, are you doing anything, or are you just standing there waiting for him to come back? I'll follow along. Walking if, or running? If they're sprinting, I'll run after him. But right, um, basically, if though. if there's any authorities come along, I'll say that man tried to steal, tried to pickpocket him. Oh no! That's, wait till they come and then tell me. Give me your sprint yeah. roll, Pete. If you make it, you get a card. Chris, he has a simple action ahead of you. Your simple action after him and. Is that a crit? Uh, no, I, my punch oh. isn't that good. Okay. I, don't, I don't punch a lot of people. I sword them or I fucking beat them clubs. I don't... Uh, well, let me check just to make sure. No, I'm close, sure. but... <laughs> Another three, so he's up to six. Ah, he says... Uh, people are definitely stopping what they're doing and, like, watching. And... Uh, next round, heroes are first. Defending is approved. Um, I missed. Oh, I miss it? oh good. Oh, uh, in fact, I fumble my martial arts. Excellent. Uh -oh. At last, the fumble deck comes into play. Chris, Here are you aware of the fumble deck? deck? Yeah, I was told about that earlier today. Let's okay. see. Uh, stunned. Whatever it was you were trying to do, you fucked up badly. You are now at negative 30 for the next round for anything you... Uh, have to roll on as you think about your life's choices. That's it. Okay. One round of negative 30. Okay. Just as an aside, that card came up compressed for me. I, I know it does for me too, and I have no idea how to deal with it. Okay. None. <laughs> I have no idea why it's kind of squashy. Yeah. It irritated me, and I looked at it, and I'm like, I don't know how to fix you. And it's like, I don't know how to fix me either. So, uh, for the bad guy's turn, i.e. the poor screaming beggar that you're uh, chasing and beating, he staggers forward a little bit, eh, 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 screaming his head off. Eh, he says he does not know that this is what's causing his ass beatery. Exactly. Next round. And all the people are stopping and watching. At this point, both of you guys take one real hit point of damage. <clears throat> you pull, uh, Pete pulled a muscle. And Chris, oh. your hand hurts from hitting this guy in the back of the head repeatedly. Pulling Makes your sense. pulling your hood up is approved. Heroes are first. Uh, do you have a hood, uh, Pete? Uh, no, I've got a uh, hat, but not a hood. Nice. Outfit. Bummer. Uh, right, you you've caught up to uh, watch Doc Fulton like walk after this guy beating him like a drum. So, Doc, go ahead and give me your uh, roll. I don't crit my martial Idiot. arts. God damn. So that's... I don't know what happens when Double you crit. Double damage. Double damage? Okay. Yes. So It doesn't go up one... Oh, wait. Let me look. Damage on, I track. might be an idiot. I could be stupid here. Let me look. Yep. Shut up, you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh... No, no. You get, you get double damage on uh, uh, crits. Okay. So it, it'd be because um, normally martial arts bumps it by one, but instead mm -hmm. you're, do, you're I think you're doing like two D three now, Chris. Oh wait, so wait, martial arts now if you make it bumps the die up instead. Uh huh. Okay, I thought it, it doesn't give you an additional die anymore. No, no. Uh, it's it's the same. It's pretty much just the same as having a strength bonus. All right, so it, if you got a strength well, bonus, if you already die, have a strength uh, bonus, it, it goes up two, another so. die. Going so D6 it's D3 damage. for punch, and then it's D4 if you have a strength bonus, and then if I make yep. my martial arts, it's a D6. Bingo. Yes. Okay. And if you have so, the strength bonus at 110, it's even better. So okay. he would so, then be rolling 2D6 for the crit? Right. So it's at 13 total. I'm just conf yeah, I'm just confirming, Logan. Would it then be 2D6 for the crit? Yeah. Yeah, if he made both of his air rolls and shit, yeah. Which is a nasty fucking grit. Yeah, that's what I wanted. That's why I wasn't sure if it raised it up by one or doubles it because that mm -hmm. potentially can be quite nasty. Yeah. So he goes, and the guy does the uh, flying forward like a professional diver with his hands up, and then he s hits the ground and just skids on his face for a while. And the screaming stops, and everybody looks at the doc and goes, 
I bow with a flourish. <laughs> Give me an acting to make it a really cool bow, like I'm a professional actor bowing. I make it. Nice. They, 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 they continue, bravo, bravo. Uh, apparently, this guy's been going around threatening people to put out this sun and shit, and people were sick of his shit. So there you go. I put a silver in his hand. I walk away. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. That's just dickish. I'll give you a card for that. Here you go. So uh, you guys wander off and go from that place to a different place. You guys head over to the uh, library. And it definitely looks like a old... Uh, style library there were it's got guards this is not a place that uh, people get to come into unless they you know are invited or members or something which you guys are not we will inquire as to how we gain we get membership uh, the yearly membership cost is 1,000 silvers per person per year the lifetime membership cost is 10,000 silvers. 1,000 silvers. Mm -hmm. They have guards here. Like, there's actual shit that they're protecting type guards. Hmm. Mm, give me security systems roles to figure out about how many guards. Because this is a... And all, all, all the guards here are old, older dudes, like retired city guards type thing. Yep. This is not a place where people are trying to break into a lot, but they kind of remind you of weathered old trees. Yes, I made my security systems. Uh, you're going to guess there may be 30 to 50 basically pensioners guarding this place. Um, is it impossible to get by them? No, you can fucking... Mission Impossible it and shit, but sitting around doing research in a book, you know, while you're doing that, mm -hmm. super rough. Finding the books you want to steal in a reasonable amount of time, super rough. They don't let you come in and browse to see if you'd like to join or any of that bullshit. It's pretty much you give us a fucking stack of money or piss off because they don't seem to care. Plus, on top of the 30 to 50 guards, probably 10, 20, 30 librarians here. It's a pretty big fucking building, heavily guarded. Right. Just as an FYI to the PCs, is this is the kind of place where you have to come with a topic. You just perusing around, you're gonna read jokes of accounts for the last thousand years. Yeah, yeah. Because coming across something amazing, chances are way against it. It's like the old library in that place that has been cut off, where it's got a lot of fucking lore and shit, but you got to know what topic you're after. Yeah, got to know what you're looking for. Yeah, because otherwise you'll just be like, oh, yeah, some lost kingdom and blah, 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 blah. Hmm. All right. So, did you want to join Doc? How much is it for the year? <laughs> Thousand silver, which gold, yeah. yeah, so it works out to about fourteen and a bit gold each. I don't have that much. I just need enough for the. For the day. Uh, yeah, do they have daily rates? No. Or is it? Yeah. All right. All right. Here's 28, 28 gold and so many silver. The guy looks really shocked that you pass over them. Like, well, all right, I guess we'll join. Because you guys are dressed like 
We're kind of adventure, adventure type dudes, and normal people and shit. You're like, here's a stack of money. And he's like, ah. So um, he asks to see your IDs. Pass them over. He rolls his fucking what's up on the streets. Doesn't quite make it. He's like, shotgun joker. Very unusual name. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He finds it odd that your parents named you shotgun, but whatever. Hey, gold and 20 silver. It comes to. Oh, no, actually, no, be 40 silver. 20 gold and 40 silver, I should say. 40 silver. All right. No problem. You guys are escorted in. This is the kind of place that you don't do your own research roles. You're asked to sit at a desk and you ask people to bring you books. Mm. Some books you are allowed to handle when you're wearing special gloves. Some books you're not allowed to handle. They wear special gloves. You look at it through a Lexan type glass thing and they flip the pages for you. Yeah. Uh, you have your own librarian assigned to you. He waits to see what kind of shit you guys want. Or if you're just going around joining all the organizations that cost money today. Um, atlases. Pre-rending, post-rending. Very good, sir. Brings out atlases and shows them to you. Mm-hmm. Uh, the post-rending, you are allowed to flip. Pre-rending, he flips. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like... definitely not the normal USA type of setup. Yeah. Uh, shit's altered. Uh, it, as in visit the physical continent shape is slightly different even? Yeah, and the placement and stuff like that. It's very yeah, odd. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, one of the things I'm curious about is, especially the pre-rendering, is where Australia is, what is there? <laughs> Australia's not even on the maps. It's pretty much Genovia, uh, North and South America, and a lot of water. Um, there's so minor. What about, Asia, what about the equivalent of Asia? Yeah, yeah. They've, they've got kind of part of it, just a bit of it, uh, maybe a third or fourth of it. Um, mm-hmm. As far as. Let's see. Hold on a second. Let me give you some more. <clears throat> Open. Other. Excuse me. I'm dying. Stop it. <laughs> Chris goes, stop it. Matt begins cheering. Hooray. Uh, let's see. Um, We're just trying to confuse your body. It worked. <laughs> Mm, let's see. There's also a. Uh, it's kind of like where England is, uh, mm-hmm. but more separated from Europe, uh, mm-hmm. called Delphine. Okay, I thought interesting. That's not what I would have thought was there. Uh-huh. I thought it would have been um, the other place that starts with M, whose name escapes me at this moment. Perfect. Um, and then, uh, there's, uh, um, yeah, uh, the other stuff that you may have heard of, like, uh, the Minji's desert and stuff like that, Mm -hmm. um, that's on the continent of Genovia. Well, actually the continent is not named Genovia. That's just one of the countries. I can look up the continent name that you actually got back in season one if you want, but, I was uh, not. I didn't play in season one, so. Or sorry, one, two, something like that. Season two. Well, yeah, no, that's right. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. So Genovia is a country as part of that landmass. Yeah, there's a lot of different shit in that landmass: yeah. mountains, uh, deserts, impassable jungle. Deserts. Holy shit! Chris disappeared. <laughs> 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 so fucked up. So we should get a picture of Chris that he puts up behind him, just going I'm frozen, so that you guys think I have lost connection again. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, so that's that's what you see there. Uh, West, yeah, sorry. So where's Westmead then? Because I thought Westmead is a island that is, um, generally speaking, west of Genovia. Because that was a island, wasn't it? Westmead is. Hold on, let me find it. I've for got you. Westmead listed as a small island nation. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's it's another England type of thing, except it's so. Uh, is it above, so? It's west of Genovia, and is it above Delphine or Delphine sort of north of Delphine is north of Westmead. Um, yeah, Westmead just like England is large enough to have several rousing good wars yeah, yeah. and shit like that, and. All right, and Australia doesn't exist, which is what I suspected. Yeah, so that would explain why. Um, a, were you looking for something special? Asked the librarian. Um, initially, I just wanted to get an orientation of the land masses and then i was interested in the myths and legends of australia and australians one moment he brings you back <laughs> he then has to do a sandy loss because he's flipping the pages of the book and one of them is a woodcut of you and so he goes, <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> he says, I'm not happy. Okay, he didn't lose enough to start screaming so this means that doc doesn't have to well while wearing his white gloves Beat him, Hound him yeah. with one of the library books. Oh, that would probably lose you your fucking memberships on the first goddamn day, and they don't give refunds. So, um, yeah, you you are uh, definitely in the the myths section, and he's like, "Oh, are you a descendant?" Because everybody leaps to that. It's kind of like looking at the Keanu Reeves picture from like the 1400s mm -hmm. as compared to today. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's obviously him. We all know Keanu Reeves is immortal. It's obviously him. He's faking this shit. So, um, the myths and legends is that Australia is some sort of island country and it's usually drawn with the same accuracy as various sea monsters and shit are. Mm -hmm. So is there stuff about, you know, in times of need, coming to the aid of Genovia, blah, 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 that sort of rubbish? Mm, no, they, they, they don't go quite that far. Australians are, are more seen as like... Uh, like the, like the Dutch, uh, they're, they're trading mercenaries type thing and mm -hmm. uh, they're it's kind of, I, I think it's closer to Atlantis. They were traders, okay. they were warriors, oh, yep, they yep. were inventors, and then mm -hmm. they just disappeared back into the yep, mist yep, 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 yep. time and shit, but without the big continent singing and all that. And the shit that's been written about Australia is, you know, they have a council of drop bears that rule, you know, one of the <laughs> cities and shit like that. You know, just really far yeah, yeah, out yeah. there stuff, you know. All right. so, I'll yeah. let Doc do some research now. Great. <clears throat> so I want to do research on who helped form the Shadow Academy. Mm -hmm. uh, right. They they give you the government uh, sanctioned book on who helped form the Shadow Academy. And, uh, it talks in glowing terms about uh, how after after. Uh, the the earth got butt fucked by the aliens repeatedly and stuff then several different people rose who were the strongest magically and they were like gods among men and then they fucking battled each other and stuff and then the survivors they're they they chose uh, people to uh, carry on the traditions and stuff and many of these guys faded in the mess and you know etc it's it's kind of like a creation story, but they uh, became bureaucrats. Does it show the people? Does it have like pictures of anybody or like illustrations of them? Of of the ones from years ago and stuff. Uh, yeah. Sure, but they're are, are they good enough to identify in a police lineup? Eh, a couple of them, maybe. How long ago <laughs> does it say the Shadow Academy was formed? Yeah, but is Oli's father in any of these? Is what I want to know. Oh, 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 so you got to be specific. 
Simple answer, no. How long ago does it say the Shadow Academy was formed? It's rather vague on that, but it seems to be uh, like during the Great Magic Wars that you know about. Because humanity, since the monsters arose, humanity took a hideous butt fucking. Mm -hmm. So during the rending period. Yeah, that that during the the rending actually. Sorry, the um, what they call it, the war, the magic wars, or whatever it was they called it. Yeah, but it's all kind of generally thought about. Even though it happened at different times, it's all kind of clumped in with the rending in the same way mm -hmm. that. Uh, like uh, Australian history has a lot of shit that's clumped together that shouldn't be because it was more of a string mm -hmm. rather than a ball. But yeah, uh, he he's I uh, by looking for this guy peripherally, you fail to find him, Chris. Uh, you do find some. Uh, basically, they're trying to convince you that the the uh, people on the council, if they are not gods, then they are definitely directed by the gods. Because, you know, bureaucrats are all wise and knowing and shit. Yeah. In a modern atlas. Okay. Now, is is the whole continent that Genovia is on gone? Oh, yeah. Or, or is it large chunks of it missing? No, yeah, no, that fucker's gone. All right. People are unsure, according to the writing and stuff, whether it sunk or disappeared during the, mm -hmm. the magic wars. It could so, have, some people even theorize it was teleported to a different world. So was that continent, like Europe, connected to Asia, or was Asia a separate continent? Um, well, Genovia, Genovia is pretty long and stuff. Asia was definitely separate, but kind of... Bleh. Yeah. yeah that, what I mean is like the continent was that Genovia water. was on, does that did that link with Asia? No, that was separate continents. All right. Yep. Eventually we may have a fan fucking draw the uh picture of the planet, which would be weird. Or not. No, I was just trying to get a vague idea in my head as to what it looks like. Yep. You can draw it. That'll be fun. Yeah. <laughs> Any other questions for the library? It's you've been in here a couple of hours. This shit does not move quickly. There's a lot of sitting around. At one point, you get taken into a different room, given tea and cakes and shit, and then brought back, etc. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, like I doubt it, but do anybody that they uh, about in the Shadow Council look like Jonathan or Justice? Take a card. No, thank God. <laughs> thank God, you think. Um, you do see something interesting, though. Let me find it for you here. Is it here? Scroll out. Yes. Uh, move players to this. Yeah. Think. Right in the lower right hand. Hmm corner uh a guy did come in to check and see what you guys were looking at he was pleased that you were looking up uh good uh topics and stuff although he personally thought history is a waste of time but he was wearing that emblem there the v with the black bar white bar black bar hold on <laughs> oh, okay there it is You can give me empathy rolls and danger sense rolls on him. Everybody's very respectful around this guy and stood a bit straighter. Half and got. Uh, he he reminds you a lot of uh, the political. Uh, he, he you think he's a politico, like a political officer, there yep. to make sure that no impure thoughts are thought. And uh, bring down horrible punishment and wrath upon those that have them. 
definitely somebody that you did not want to cross and you are like, I hope he doesn't ask to see my spirit pentagram or I'm going to go to a gulag somewhere. But mm. he didn't appear too interested in you guys. He kind of appeared unexpectedly and left unannounced. That yeah, probably someone with a lot of money that shouldn't have a lot of money came in and a lot of money. Oh, they're studying history. They're boring. Good. Yeah. Yeah, nobody cares about history. So there you go. That's your fucking ooh for the day. <laughs> we take that guy in the back room and fuck him to death, Logan. Let's beat him like a rented mule. Yeah. Like a redheaded adopted second generation stepchild. Ooh, that's hard. So you know what else is hard? <laughs> <laughs> your nipples. So um right, reduce your hand by one there, nipple man. Uh so what do you guys want to uh research now? Uh they uh they ask if you'd like to uh leave to go get uh lunch and then return after you've had lunch. Okay. It appears that once again time keeps on drifting, drifting, drifting into the future. Yes. Do, do, do. <laughs> they wait patiently for your answer. We go get lunch so they can do whatever they do in the library. She has an orgy going on. <laughs> anyway, no, um, right. A, lunch where, where would you like to have lunch? Now we'll go into the Hilton, Hilton, I should say, and since we're in that quarter. No problem. Uh, yeah, they, they uh, it's like eight silvers for the two of you. you basically, you guys, it, it's like, it's kind of like Logan going to a really nice place with Pete, but you're dressed like Logan, okay? So that's, that's how your characters are dressed by comparison, okay? Everybody's wearing like dinner jackets. You guys are dressed like we're gonna go kill ogres when we're done eating. Ah. I mean, you're I not throw you a shrimp into <laughs> Josh's mouth. Give me a throw roll. I'm a for the women. Roll. Let's see how this works out. <laughs> throw and then give me a catch roll. I got it. Oh my god, give me a catch roll. It's a good chance to get a skill up there, Pete. Is there actually a catch? Oh yeah, there it is. is. Do you know how many people die playing this game every year? <laughs> no, I don't catch it. I miss He opens his mouth and just shows a shrimp go on his eye. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. The catch skill is a fucking brilliant one to build up if you get it super high. Then you can play ball with your dad without dying. Mm -hmm. Yay, 50 oh, hour oh. week next week. Fuck. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> I would recommend, Chris, because we might be getting more people and stuff coming in. I'd recommend sign up and then, like, if it's a day or two beforehand, you're like, I am dog ass tired and can't do it. Then, you know, cancel. Is that wise? Okay. Yeah. I, I want to see you playing. Only thing I have to do is I'm going to find out when Nero is happening because I'm actually going to, because Amy's actually going to go fucking play with Elba. So. Got it, got it. Yeah, you just sign up when you find out. Okay, I will do so. Actually, I can go look that up right now. Hmm. Well, after the game might be better. I'm still trying to figure out what you guys are wanting to do after you your characters eat lunch and throw food at each other. <laughs> okay. Um... All right. Now... We could potentially go and talk to someone like the Dragon Don and see if he knows someone or has access to non-sanctioned books or knowledge. Since the library is not going to really give action access to the real stuff. If you wanted to continue researching the Shadow Academy and Ollie's dad. Well, they, just, just to be clear, the library... Um, when you start going into history, nobody cares much about that, although I'm sure they'd like to change some of those history books. But that's a pretty safe thing as opposed to who's a troublemaker right now. Mm. Uh, 
It just seems like the stuff about the Shadow Academy is, yeah, government written as opposed to what really happened. Oh, God, yes. That, that's because... all I meant, whereas there may be people that can actually tell us that what really happened or ac give us access to stuff that has what really happened. There's nothing that really helps solidify a government like a good book burning. Mm-hmm. Exactly. That's eating soup again. You and your fucking soup. Can you think of anything else? Not in the library, not at the top of my head that I've been wanting to look into. Um... I'm glad that you guys are doing this. Uh, amongst yourselves today because this would be horribly boring for a brand new person. Which is why I didn't do any of this stuff yesterday. Because I could see... Which is amusing because to me this is like shit we need to do and hot damn. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I agree. Right. <laughs> well, easing somebody into the game, this sort of stuff is not necessarily that exciting. You, you, while you're while you're eating at the Helton, you do hear uh, some posh people at a nearby table talking about that they're glad that ships are finally going out after the crack in the day because they've lost one of their trading ships, and some rich guy is down a little bit of money. They don't mention anybody who fucking died on that ship, just that he, you know, he's going to have to to cut back uh, on his staff for a few months, type thing. But apparently the Kraken, uh, Kraken's out there. There are multiple Krakens out there. Are a blight to shipping. Are they dangerous to hunt, Cecil? Well, yes. Yes, they are. I suppose you'd have to give them a good dubbing with your stick or something. I wonder if our decoder rings would have any significance at Ovaltine Fortress. That's when he farted and killed the dog. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right. Ah, that's what I was thinking. There's the book. There's a bookseller. That's maybe what I was thinking about. Because that's the other thing we could talk to the bookseller. The bookseller may know. Uh, the Noble Barnes, you mean? Yes. Uh -huh. Over in Viceroy's uh, Avenue. Yes, upscale yeah. shopping. Yeah. You guys are really, you're going to a lot of posh areas and you're really not quite dressed for it. It's, I'm it's, not, I'm, we're not actually going there yet. I'm just speculating. Mm. I'm just talking about mm. where we may want to consider going. No worries. There's a potential avenue of getting information to help us. The other. The other potential is the private eye may know people. The private eye? Yeah, there's the, I think it's I Spy Private Eye. Is that what it's called? Yes. Uh, Chris hasn't been studying his map and stuff, laying awake at night, staring at the map, going through it. Uh, that's weird. I just don't understand it. <laughs> yeah, I found out about it from a load from a broadsheet. It's uh, right near St. John's Teaching Hospital, uh, which should oh, have yes. special significance to uh, uh, Joshua McKay. Yes. <laughs> it shows some guy going, This hospital is solid. One of the gargoyles falls off the roof and crushes him. It's right near Spatula City. Spatula City. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Spatula City. You could take the tram over there if you wanted to. It costs like a bit to ride the tram. It's drawn by a horse. 
So any thoughts on which of those avenues may be worth pursuing? Let's go to the bookstore and see if right. like we can find out like some illegal bookage. Yep. All right, we'll do that. Do we want well, how about we go get changed into something a bit nicer first? Just so we're not Oh, excuse me. Sounds good. I like not it. looked upon in looked upon suspiciously as we wander the area. Um Right. You guys want to dress as the other Tufts do in this area? Like uh, we're talking stovepipe, pad, and pretty much very comfortable feeling for McKay. Super <laughs> comfortable with his frock coat, cane, uh, spats, etc. Yep. Great. Um, the, it's, it's kind of, well, wait, uh, what time period was Doc from? Doc was 1920s, wasn't he? No. No, modern? No, it's modern day. Ah, okay. He has to show you how to wear some of the shit, but once you get it, it's not hard. It's like, the fuck is this thing for? No, no, you forgot it. First you have to put on this, then you put on that. You know, I can't go the other way around. Shit like that. It's like, we, if you're rich, you have to be uncomfortable, apparently. But he seems super comfortable in it, like, kind of like it's a relief to be dressed like this again. Possibly because he's some sort of freak of nature, you're thinking. Mm. Or it's from multiple times. You're just not sure. He'll happily talk about a DNA splicer, and then he'll be like, where's my stovepipe cap, Watson? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, right, you guys uh, head over Pat, uh, to the miscellaneous gear shops uh, in Vice we'll Rose Avenue. A, we'll get a handsome cab or something over there. Mark office, if one silver pretty much gets you anywhere in the city you want in style without walk, wading through horse shit. Well, because of the way we're dressed, we should. Oh, absolutely. I give you a card for remembering to use the fucking handsome cabs. Uh, do you know what a handsome cab is there, Chris? The handsome cab? Uh -huh. No. Well, then I will get you a picture of it. It's super convenient for uh, when there's two of you around because it fits two people easily. Oh, it's the next one here. Hold on a second. Uh, and then plus the driver on the roof. Of course, a, if you look at the upper left, it's got those uh, three columns of pictures. Uh, the furthest to the right, second one down. The non Mad oh, okay. Max vehicles. Yeah, one's brown, the other one's white. That's that's a handsome cab. And when you get in, there's like a little door that closes, uh, possibly to keep the horse from shitting and having it splash up on you or anything splashing you. Um, there's blankets and stuff in there for do you use have, night. Do you have any crap cards, Chris? Uh, yeah, so now you know what a handsome cab is. It's not called that because it's good looking. Why are you looking to get rid of something? Oh, I've got, yeah, I've got three limited retrieves and a pony <clears throat> fails, a clog and greed, a clarity, and a rapid card cycler. Good lord. I can get rid of an art 20. Who's <laughs> 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 that? I'll just toss a card in my hand. Yeah, they go have the clarity. Chris likes the clarity. Yeah, I know. That's why I was hanging on to it, just in case. Otherwise, so, I would have tossed it. <clears throat> so, you guys head on over there, and uh, they've got gear bags called uh, in the shop called Pax Fifth Avenue. Uh, the higher-priced uh, supply shop called the Urbane Outfitters. It's very posh. Uh, Old World Junk, sells pre-rending stuff, Candy Maker, Gem Seller, Bookmaker, and of course the Noble Barnes Book Seller. You guys head in there. <laughs> Looking at the bookstore, this is, it appears to be kind of all modern stuff. The guy looks a lot like the kind of guy that if he's in a different movie, you'd buy a wand from. 
He says, yeah, hello. <laughs> At this point, Doc Fulton loses it. The guy looks concerned. I'm fine. Sorry. Is it something I said? No, nothing at all. Mm. Oh. Well then, how may I help you? We well, obviously, we're interested in books. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here. Oh um, uh, yes, so... uh, any book in particular, or would you like to buy uh, some to decorate a room? No, we don't need books by the foot. Uh, he says. <laughs> <laughs> you need some Tums? Are you okay? Uh, what sort of book would you like then? Or would you like me to pick one at random, perhaps? Here's a book about frogs. Do you like frogs? No. Uh, how about toads? He picks up a no, no. We're more interested in people. Uh, lily pads, perhaps. 